Hello and welcome to a short screencast on using the Geshe Syntax Highlighter in Drupal 7. For a detailed tutorial on using Geshe, go to the link below. Geshe is a Syntax Highlighter library written in PHP and has support for a ton of languages. In this short screencast, I will show you how to use Geshe on a Drupal 7 site. First, go to drupal.org and download the Geshe module and version 2 of the library's API module. Next, download the actual Geshe library from SourceForge and place the extracted files in sites slash all slash libraries. Once downloaded, go and enable both Geshe modules and libraries API. I'll explain what the Geshe field is in a bit. Next, we need to set up the Geshe filter. Click on Text Formats and select the filter. Select the Geshe filter and make sure it's after the Limit Allowed HTML Tags filter. If you're having trouble with any highlighting and have a lot of filters, you may have to experiment with different orders for the filters. Now let's test things out. Click on Content and then Add Content. To highlight a bit of code, simply wrap it with a corresponding tag. You can see the list of enabled tags and languages in the text format area. To configure and enable extra languages, just go to the Geshe filter configuration page. In the general settings, you can change the look and feel and configure a few options like line numbering and default mode. And finally, click on the languages tab to enable extra languages. All you need to do is select which language you want and give it a tag. And that's it. The last thing I want to show you is the Geshe field. As you may have guessed it, it's simply a field which you can attach to any content type. Let's just go to the content types area and here it is. Now let's add some code. When you use a field, you don't have to wrap the code with a tag. Just select the language from the dropdown. And there you go. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the detailed tutorial at webwash.net.